Now, what is this, you may ask? Well, it is a bikini ferry. My mate Musa came round uh, for dinner the other night and he uh, he had a 2017 R9T, which unfortunately was written off. He um, ran over a, a tow bar pin, which punctured the, um, the underside of his engine case and the insurance company wrote the bike off. So he, uh, he replaced it with a 2020 model and uh, unfortunately for him, the bikini fairing which he bought won't fit so um, I'm going to buy it off him he bought it around the other day and um, I can't wait to get it on now he had it painted in this uh, uh, grey it's like an Audi grey uh, it's quite a nice colour um, maybe I'll change the colour I'll, uh, I'll see now this bikini fairing uh, there are lots out there it's a bit more streamlined than a, a Pouge or a Wonderlic uh, fairing so I really like this one can't wait to get it on now, it is an active brand um, bikini fairing. Uh, Gala Speed is probably, or Gale Speed is probably a, a brand that you know. They predominantly make wheels. Um, it's, uh, it's part of that company, okay? So I'll leave a link in the description uh, below in case you, uh, you like it and you want to pick one up. I don't know if they're available outside of Japan, um, but if I'll, I'll put a link in there. Uh, the instructions are only in Japanese. Um, however, um, if you use the Google Translate app on your telephone, and there's a little, uh, uh, like a photo, uh, little camera mode, and all you do is hover your phone over the uh, over the Japanese, it'll translate to English. It's uh, quite incredible. Uh, very, very um, uh, easy to understand instructions too. I've had a bit of a squeeze. Now there's all the mounting hardware. Now, what I'll do is I'll walk you through the install. Uh, any questions, uh, leave them below. But uh, before we get started, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. It's free. All right, guys, let's get on with the install. Okay, the first thing is to remove both bolts from the top clamp and replace it with the stays and the 8 M8 by 60. Okay, so the left hand stay and the uh, M8 by 60 and washer. It's a six mil, six mil uh, hex bit. Now, don't um, we're not going to talk it up. We're just going to get them snug, just on both sides. All right. Next thing is we remove your headlight bracket. Uh, take these bolts out. You won't need them. Uh, they'll be replaced uh, by these M6 by uh, 40 okay so behind this we're going to mount the adapter bracket and uh, little dowel pins Alright, okay, I can see there's supposed to be two dowel pins there. I've got one dowel pin that's uh, located uh, in the original state, nothing down below. I think old uh, Herman, when he made the bike in Berlin, forgot to uh, put one in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, given the fact that I've got the top dowel still in the back, partly, you can just see it, I'll use the pin that came with the adapter and we'll whack those in in place I've got a BMW I'll get another another pin and we're just going to locate the adapter on top 
of these pins. There we go. Okay, and use the M60 bolts to remount the headlight. Okay, we'll tighten these up. Right, we'll snug these little cap screws up. And when I'm finished all this, I'll get my torque wrench out and I'll talk them up to the specs. Okay, to the adapter plate, we are going to mount this bracket. Uh, these are called well nuts. These are larger ones. Um, they were already in the bracket when Musa gave it to me, but uh, you want to insert them like this and uh, these two small bolts with the spring washers. Okay, it's now mounted here on either side, of course, and uh, it does say to uh, when you tighten it up to have the uh, bracket all the way forward, okay? All right, next step is to get the large, uh, well, nuts, they call them. Um, Muss has already installed them on the top of the cowl, but you can see how they mount. Okay, so the rubber grommet must push, push through, and then the, uh, the steel collar slides up from beneath. And then you get the large um, strip of rubber. And it's a, it's a sort of, you know, V spreadable sort of rubber and then we'll attach that to the inside lip uh, of the cowl just to protect the headlight. Okay, ready to stick it on. Uh, you'll notice that I've, uh, I've fitted the rubber to the uh, inside there so you know, it doesn't uh, rub on the headlight. Okay, so what we're going to do is do the top first. So just line up the stays with that hole. the other one. Now one thing I did notice when I, I just did a quick mock-up, the handlebars, the lower handlebars I've got on these Rizoma bars, uh, I really wanted the, the stays a little bit further back. I just noticed this, the cow sits a little bit, points a little bit down, but uh, what I've done is I've um, ordered some Muggera uh, master cylinders so they won't get in the way, so I can push the stays a little bit further back, so I can, uh, the cowl will sit a little bit flatter, but for the time being, it fits, it's fine. So I'll get these. All right. Hope everyone's doing okay out there. My city's just been thrown into a three day snap lockdown, which isn't a lot of fun, so no riding, unfortunately, but anyway, there are, all important things going on in the universe, I suppose. Okay, so just snug those up. And there we go. The bottom two. Uh, the bottom two bolts just go under that stay we installed. Uh, I won't worry about showing you that. It's very easy to do. All right, we're almost there. Now get your little well plugs and Stick one in each hole in your fairing. Okay, grab a screw with a little white nylon washer. Whack them in. Tighten them up just before snug. Uh, what you want to do is tighten all the screws uh, evenly uh, with an even pressure as you go around. 
don't go He-Man too tight. You don't want to go cracking the purse specs, but just uh, just snug. Okay, but very important that they um, they're all done at the same sort of tension. And there we have it, guys, all done. Now I understand uh, this might not be everyone's cup of tea. You might go, eh, but uh, listen, I don't mind it. Each to their own. Um, there are a lot of uh, obviously different brands out there, Persian, Wonderlic, and all all that, but. Uh, uh, I don't mind it at all. Uh, I might get a clear screen, but uh, we'll see how we go. All right, guys, uh, any comments, questions, uh, leave them below as usual. Um, please like and subscribe, it's free. Uh, and uh, as always, ride safely. Take care, see you on the track.